Welcome to the Affiliate Guy Daily, your daily source for affiliate marketing news, tips, and strategies to take your online business to the next level. Let's dive right in. Hey, hey, what's up? It's Matt here, and today I want to share with you how to take away buyer fear. And what I mean by buyer fear, I mean, you know, the fear that buyers instinctively have. Like, we have it, you have it, I have it, you know, you know what I'm talking about. It's that oh my goodness, am I making the right decision? You know, I, I'm, I'm scared to take the leap. Now this applies, we're talking about $25,000 vehicles. It applies to $2,000 online courses. It applies to a pair of shoes. You know, we have that fear. And I think that, you know, like taking away buyer fear can be summed up in the, in the story of two Chinese restaurants. And these are two Chinese restaurants that uh, I went to back to back days uh, because I love Chinese food. He couldn't tell. <laughs> like, it's good stuff, right? And one of them, I had fear. I had fear of buying the food. And then the other, I didn't have fear. And there was one key critical difference between the two. And before I share that with you, though, I want to I want to tell you about today's sponsor. Today's episode is sponsored by Michael Hyatt and his upcoming affiliate launches. You want to know more about Michael's launches, five days to your best year ever, and free to focus in any of our recommended affiliate programs. Just go to mattmcwilliams.com forward slash what's up. We've got a ton of programs and launches listed there that you can join and start making money as an affiliate. So Go check out Michael's launches. We've also got Jeff Goins and Ray Edwards and a bunch of others on there. So go check those out, mattmcwilliams.com forward slash what's up. So what separated these two Chinese restaurants? Well, it's one very key thing. One had the place where they cook was hidden. The other, the place where they cook was wide open. I could see what was going on in that one. Now, instinctively, this doesn't seem to matter if you're at a you know fifty dollar a plate steak restaurant, does it? You know that has a reputation. Neither one of these Chinese restaurants had better than four stars out of five, and they all had some mixed reviews. And I'd never eaten at either one of them before, but one had everything out in the you know the wide open where I could see it. And the other was like behind closed doors. It was secret. It was, you know, cloaked in secrecy. That was the only difference between the two. And I I will tell you that the one that was cooked out in the open uh, tasted better. And I enjoyed it more. And I believe that's 100% psychological. It also could be better food. I don't know. But I went into the other one with this attitude of, uh, am I going to end up with food? Like, am I going to spend the next two days vomiting? As a result of eating this, I I was afraid. I almost didn't want to do it. But on the other one, basically, they could have charged me what they wanted to charge for me. It's like, here's my money. Give me food. You know, get in my belly. Like, that's the attitude I have. People have fear. They have reluctance of buying. They They are giving up. They are taking out of their pocket. And they are giving up, whether it be, you know, Uncle Ben, Benjamin Franklin, or, you know, Uncle Abe or Uncle Andrew, whatever it is, they're giving up money or they, they, you know, they know that this money is coming out of their bank account in exchange for this product. So there's a natural reluctance. But when you can give them the comfort of seeing how things work, you take away a lot of that fear. So what does this mean practically for affiliate marketing? Well, here's some things that you can do to practically take away that fear of buying. Number one, you can use uh, unboxing. You, know, you can do unboxing videos or unboxing screenshots. You can actually show the process of literally taking, you know, if it's a physical product, unboxing it, taking it out of the box and using it and showing people how it's used. Very powerful. You've seen this done before. This is nothing new, right? This takes away that fear and reluctance of buying. Like, am I actually going to get this in the mail? Yes. Show people, if we're talking about a digital product, you know, a digital course, show what it's like to actually log in. You know, this is real. Like here, I'm really using this. The second thing is you can show before and after. You know, again, we've all seen this, right? But I have this fear of buying this product. Well, 
here's me before the product, here's me after. You know, it can be very simple like that. If you've got a, a course, say, on productivity and you're training people how to be more productive and, you know, you can legitimately say, hey, before this course, you know, if that's what you're promoting, before this course, like, I, you know, I, 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 I use this tracker and I was, you know, I was only basically, a, I was spending 10 hours a day in the office and only getting five hours and 12 minutes worth of work done. And now I spend eight hours in the office and I get seven hours and seven minutes worth of work done. That's a before and after. Pictures are great before and afters, of course, for the weight loss industry. They, they work. Uh, thirdly, you can offer a tour. You know, if it's a course, offer a tour of the course. Now, get permission from the course creator to actually do this, but simply record a five-minute screenshot, uh, a screencast of you going through the course. Show them, you know, play a couple of clips of some of the videos. Don't give away the course, of, of course. Give away the course, of course. Don't do that. You know, but give them a five minutes, just show them that this is easy to navigate. You know, sometimes people are like, I don't think I'm going to be able to use this course because I'm not sure I'll understand everything inside of it. Just show them that it's easy to understand. Show them that it's sequential, that each step builds upon the next, that the modules make sense in order. Show them things like that. Uh, fourth, share testimonials. You know, testimonials absolutely work. You know, uh, th there's a reason why they work because people want to see people like them. So make sure that these testimonials, if at all possible, if it's a newer product, this is not always the case, have a variety of, of people on there, you know, have people that represent your audience. So if your audience is 70, 30 women, your testimonials need to be about 70, 30 women. You know, if you're, if your audience is mostly stay at home moms, you don't want a bunch of corporate execs on there talking about how great it is or a bunch of dudes, you know, if you are speaking to, you know, again, like the weight loss industry and, and your product is primarily going to be like morbidly obese people, don't show a bunch of people who weighed 180 getting down to 160. Like, no, you want to show the guy who went from 450 down to, you know, 250. You want it to be believable. You want to have a cross section of races and, and uh, different ethnicities. You want to have, if you're like in the family space, you maybe want to have a, a, some single parents along with some, you know, couples that are parenting. And you don't want to just have all couples on there, all husbands and wives on there about your parenting course. When it's like, you know what, there's different people who are going to buy this potentially. So make sure that you have a cross section of people. And then the last thing is share the good and the bad. You know, isn't that the theme song of the facts of life? You take the good, you take the bad. Okay, that was terrible. Um, I'm going to break out into the Carlton any moment now. Stand up, play some Tom Jones. Anyway, share the good and the bad. You actually take away reluctance when you share, I don't want to call them negatives, but when you share downsides. You know, uh, Share things that might not make this for the individual person. So you say, hey, this isn't for everyone. Uh, I'll use I'll use an example here. Uh, you think of uh, well, we mentioned you know Michael Hyatt, uh, Michael Hyatt's free to focus course. This is not this course is not for everyone. If you are not in a position where you have control over your calendar at this point in your life, free to focus might not help you as much as it will help everyone else. Free to focus is not for this you know this group of people. Um, I would not suggest you know, purchasing free to focus. If you, you know, I don't know, I can't think of an example at the top of my head right now, but like, you know, Chandler Bolt self-publishing school, Hey, self-publishing school is not for you. If you don't plan to put in a certain amount of work, self-publishing school is not for you. If you're already the published author of seven books by a major publisher, it's just not like, I wouldn't suggest buying it right? So think about those type of things. Share the good and share the bad. Say, hey, you know, maybe the video quality on this course is not as good as it is on some other courses. So if that's really your thing, it might not be the course for you. Share that maybe it doesn't give you the full picture. So if you're a little bit more advanced, it's not going to get you to that super advanced stage, but it's great for beginners. And you can use those actually as positives. You can use those in a positive way. So make sure you share the good and the bad and you take away that reluctance. So I hope that helps you to be able to take away some of your own reluctance, your own fear of others having fear and reluctance to buy 
Use those strategies, and I promise you, you will take away that fear and reluctance of your buyers, and you'll make more in affiliate commissions. Hope those help. Again, check out all of our launches, mattmcwilliams.com forward slash what's up, and I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks so much for listening. Be sure to join us daily for more tips, updates, and inspiration. You can also join us and watch our deep dives into affiliate marketing strategies at theaffiliateguide.tv. And check all of our free resources at mattmcwilliams.com. See you next episode.